Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for those of you who are returning. If you are new here, visiting for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Anita with Anita by Design. And here on my YouTube channel, you will find step-by-step, -step, very detailed sew-alongs, tutorials, pattern reviews, and other sewing-related content to help you with your sewing projects. Today, I have a pattern review for you. As I continue on my journey into sewing indie patterns, I am on my third pattern from True Bias Pattern Company, and I will be reviewing the Hudson pants today. These joggers are so cute, and I've actually made three pair, but the reason I ended up with three pair is because I had trouble with the fit along the crotch curve, so in my effort to correct that, I ended up making three pair. And the final pair are close, not perfect, but close enough for me to actually wear out in public. So I'm gonna share with you the details, the alterations that I made for my body that helped with the third pair. Now, I wanna say this. I know that there are rules that you can follow to get the correct fit and there are certain adjustments you can make. I am not a fit expert when it comes to altering patterns. I, over the years, I've had to make very few pattern or alter pattern alterations. I remember a time when I could sew everything right out of the package without making any alterations, but now that's different, my body has changed, so I am making more alterations, especially when it comes to sewing pants. So the alterations that I made worked for me and my body structure. I believe, and this is what I have learned along the way as I'm starting to do more pattern alterations, I believe that the alteration that works for one person for a particular pattern May, those same alterations may not work for another person for the same pattern because our bodies are so different. So for instance, if I need, if one person needs to lengthen the front crotch curve on their pattern because they have pulling or it's too tight in that area and they use one technique, that same technique may not work for another person who has that same issue because they have other dynamics they are working with with their own body. So when you are learning to fit your patterns and make the alterations, keep into consideration that what may work for one person may not work for you. The first alteration I did, I followed a video on YouTube from a lady, oh my gosh, and I forget the name. I will link it down in the description box. But I followed a tutorial that Everything she said sounded amazing. It made good sense and it really worked for her. So I went and tried those same adjustments to fix my crotch curve, but it didn't work for me. So I went to my book that I don't know why I didn't go there in the first place, which I've used in the past. And the book I used to help me fit my crotch curve is Sewing Pants That Fit. And this is part of the Singer Reference Library. This is an older book and it's not in print anymore, but you may be able to find a copy on Amazon or somewhere on the internet. I don't know, they're kind of hard to come by now. I used to have the complete library, but when I stopped sewing, I guess I gave them away. I don't know what happened, but I did manage to get a few copies of some of the, the books that I used to have. But this has a section on fitting the crotch curve. I love this book. It addresses everything that you need to help you to fit your pants. So I'm gonna link this in the description box below. I don't know if there will be copies, but I will link to what I found on Amazon. So I'm gonna show you the alterations that I made and then what the garment looked like after I made that alteration on all three pairs. Then I'll give you a view of what the final pair looked like after I styled them. So let's get into the pattern review. Okay, this is the fabric I used for the first muslin. It's a co cotton poly blend knit and it's been in my stash for a long time and I didn't have any special plans for it so I thought it would be great for a muslin. And here I am wearing the muslin. You can see at the crotch, the front crotch, how tight that's fitting and how it's pulling in. That is not a good look. It's too short 
on the, the front crotch curve is too short. I need to add some length there so that it's not pulling in that area. So I'm gonna make an adjustment. You can see at the side view, everything looks good. The side seam is nice and straight, no twisting or anything. I thought the length was too short and I did lengthen the pants, but I think I'm gonna take that out later and you'll see why. The back, you can see all of the wrinkles and that's because it's too tight. And then you can see right there down the center front or center back that it's too tight in that area and it's pulling in. So I need to add length to the back also. Okay, so I followed the instructions from the tutorial that I watched and added one inch to the rise and also I added a one inch wedge and I drew a new grain line because when I added the wedge it distorted the grain line and I needed that to be straight before laying it on my pattern. So these are the adjustments I made on the front piece for making the second muslin. And then for the back piece, I added one inch to the rise so that it could match the front. And I also added half an inch for the length of the pants. For the second pair, I used a Ponte knit, and this is a poly rayon blend, and it has 1% spandex. So this one is going to hold me in better. It's a thicker fabric, and I like the feel of it better than the first pair, the first fabric, which was too soft. And here I am wearing the second pair. And as you can see, the extra inches that I added to the front crotch curve was way too much. And I had a feeling it would be, but I wanted to go ahead and give it a try anyway, following the instructions I had that I, I, I found on the video. You can see all that extra fabric. That is a no, that's not good. And it's, no, that would be this. This would be OK for a man with all that extra fabric in the front, but not for a lady. OK, and then from the side view, you can see the extra fabric there. You can see all that extra. It's, it's very noticeable. So I don't like that. It's like a kangaroo pouch. And when I walk, you can you can clearly see that it's too big in that area. And. From the back, these hold me in a lot better than the first pair. You could see the dimples in my skin at, and on my bottom in the first pair, and you can't see it as much here. And I'm not gonna be wearing shapewear while sitting around the house. I need to be comfortable. And then you can see all that extra fabric above the calf area. That's because I lengthened the pattern and it, it just didn't work. So I probably should have lengthened it and lengthened the pattern in a different area, I don't know. Okay, here are the adjustments I made for the third pair. I removed the wedge to get rid of all of that excess fabric that was hanging around at the front. Then I added half an inch at the crotch point to give me the extra length that I needed. And I went back to the old grain line before laying the pattern on my fabric. This is the fabric I used for the third pair. It's another Ponte knit. I don't know the fabric content on this one because I don't, I didn't take a picture of the bolt, but this was purchased from Michael Levine Fabrics and it's even thicker than the second fabric I used, the grit, the charcoal Ponte. This one is a lot thicker, so I'm thinking it has more spandex in it and it holds me in even better than the second fabric did. And here I am wearing the third pair and it is a lot better, a lot better. It's not perfect, but I can wear these out in public and be comfortable in them. You can see that the front is, it doesn't have all the excess fabric anymore. And I can use still a little extra, maybe a quarter to half an inch extra length on that front crotch curve, but it, it still looks okay. When I pull the pants up, it's, I can still see that it's a little tight in that area, so a little extra will be okay, but I'm still comfortable wearing these. When I walk around and sit, they still feel good, so I'm okay with, with this pair. Again, the extra fabric at the front is gone, so I don't have that issue anymore. And the back is fitting nice across the bottom. That extra fabric above the calf will be taken out when I make these again. So I'm happy. Here I am wearing the joggers. They are very comfortable. I style them with a 
tank top and my tennis shoes for comfort to sit around the house or to run errands around town doing whatever I need to do. I, it's a very easy pattern to sew. If you are an advanced beginner, you can sew these with out any problem. If you're a new beginner, you may need some assistance, maybe a video tutorial. I haven't decided if I'm going to do one yet, but if I do, then you'll hear about it. So yeah, I like these. They're nice and comfortable. The fabric is thick enough so that when the cooler months come in, I'll be nice and warm. And then I can just throw on my denim jacket if I'm going to go out in the, in the cool and still look cute and casual while I'm rocking my my Hudson joggers. This jacket is a simplicity pattern. I forget the number, but it is a Mimi G style pattern. So I'll post that across the screen or in the description box below. So yeah, this is looking really good. The joggers, you can style them in, you know, so many ways with different tops. And when I'm gonna go run some errands around town, I don't wanna take a big bag when I'm wearing my jogger. So I'll just grab my little wristlet, my little clutch and throw my ID and money in my bag and head out and do what I need to do. Really cute, I'm loving this look, yes. And here I've styled it with my Real Ringer t-shirt by True Bias. If you saw the pattern review for the t-shirt, then you've seen this look already, but it's very cute, very casual, very comfortable. I have that half tuck look going on and that t-shirt is not supposed to be up in the back. I forgot to pull it down. I, that is not a style. I didn't do that on purpose. So yeah, this is another comfortable look. So I'm happy with my joggers and just ready to rock them a whole lot. <laughs> Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more like this and you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I invite you to get subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. And after you hit that button, a bell will appear to the right of the subscribe button. Click on that bell because when you do, you will receive notifications whenever I post new content here to my YouTube channel. And believe me, there is a lot more coming. Well, until next time, always remember, when you live in your design, it is from there that God shines. That means when you live according to the way that you have been created, it is from that place that God will use you to bless other people. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.